Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna520, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, I think we were finishing up with the photo safari that we were doing for the, the um, uh, what are they called? Uh, stables. And, uh, now, we're gonna continue on with, uh, our, our side quest thing going on real quick. I went around for a little bit, and, uh, did some investigating. Oh, you're selling cheese here. That's nice. Um, I went around and did a little bit of investigating to find some more quests to do without having to um, <laughs> spend uh, spend time in uh, looking for them. Uh, but let's see. Where is this woman with the well thing? Yeah, she's. I guess she's down this well. Yes, she is. Farah. Wells hold systems of life that are quite special and full of plants and creatures not seen above ground. Caves are dimly lit. Maybe that's why. Lots of creatures in them have their own illumination, like the glowing cave fish. You happen to know of more well locations? I'd love to know about them. Yep, got more for you. Thanks, so 21 of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 210 rupees total. All yours. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all these wells. Let's see, how many left across Hyrule? Oh, I think there's still a total of 10 to find. Hmm. 10 wells left. Interesting. So... My question now is, if I set my thing to wells, is it going to pick up the one behind me? It is not. That's incredibly u useful. What is that way? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see where this star fell. Can always use more stars. Tulin's gusts, huh? Oh, is that, uh, is that Zelda over there? No, that is Farosh. Interesting. Alright, where did that fall? Oh, I don't... Oh, it's up there? Okay. Let's see if I can get to it in time. I can see... Aracuda's sleeping there. It almost looks like a boat. Let's just sneak past that Aracuda. Quiet. Quietly. That looks like a swarm of keys. Right. Now we can run fast. And fancy. Aha! Landed here. Gotcha. Cool. Oop, restless cricket. And I lost it. Oh well. Anyway, uh we've got some quests to do. The fort at Jabu Ridge. We still need to do that. The gathering pirates. And the horse guards request. We need to bring a deer. We need a deer. A doe, a deer, a female deer. Or some kind of deer. We got the night guard here. <laughs> Quickly swap over to a bow I don't need. Like this one. A 
Hello. Oh, a little further. There we go. I needed Arrokuda wings for something. I think it was the... I think it was... I needed Arrokuda wings for my glide suit. But now I need Gibdo wings. So that's mildly irritating. Okay, where are we going, anyway? Getting close to that. I don't want to be at that. Is there a well here by the Colosseum? I wonder. That I missed. Let's go find out real quick. No harm, no foul. Where's the road? Where's the road? There's a tree there. Growing something. What's this tree growing? Fire fruit. Interesting. I'm still feeling a little under the weather, so pardon my voice. I also just woke up, so that's another thing. I don't think there's a well here. Doesn't look like it. it would have picked up by now, wouldn't it have? Wouldn't it have? Yeah, it probably would have picked up by now. I'm not picking anything up. Alright, no well here. Where would the well be? Have I seen any wells up here? There's gotta be a well up here, right? On the Great Plateau? Somewhere? I mean, apparently people used to live here. Hmm. At least over here by the Abbey. Maybe. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, look for, uh, these. Okay. These. We can come over here to Laurelin Village and pick up two quests. We also have to find the monster control crew. I should have probably... Uh, talked to the person in charge of the monster control crew who's in lookout landing and it's something I should have done but I didn't because I'm an idiot I'm a forgetful idiot anyway while we're here uh, let's grab some freebies off this uh Plinth over here. When I was running around doing stuff, I happened to notice that there was a chest and two swords over here sitting. What's in this box? A red rupee! Nice. Alright. Oh, it's a Gerudo. Huh. I know there's a quest over here. This woman underneath the parasol thing. You. What can I do? <laughs> you! I heard what you did. Ho helping Bolson rebuild the village? That's amazing, truly. When I heard everyone talk, talk about a hero saving a village, I thought it might have been you. Thank you so much. I know my father, Rosal, is grateful too. When we heard those monsters occupying the village that were driven out, we decided to come and look for ourselves. Overall, I'd say it's looking mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done for this village. Now, I'd like to do my part to help get things going again in Lurland Village. Problem is, I'm so hungry that I can't think of ideas. Only food. Like one meal that I ate long ago. Hylian rice cooked with goron spice and porgy. Mmm. Ugh, thinking about it just makes me hungrier. The few forkfuls of that in my stomach, I'd have the brain power to come up with an idea for livening up the village. But where am I going to find that meal? Not here, that's for sure. The ingredients aren't easy to come by. 
All right, well, this is one side quest I can easily complete. Pomfort. Just have to find a cooking pot. This guy with a newspaper. I bet that's the Lucky Clover Gazette. How much you want to bet? Let's see here. Okay. So it was Hylian. Whoop. There we go. Hylian Rice. Hold. Goron Spice. And Armored Porgy. Right? I think that was it. <laughs> Tough seafood curry. I think this was the meal. Let's check real quick. Uh, porgy, highly and rice, and go on spice. That intoxicating smell, is that... Yep, seafood curry. Here you go. Ah, the smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me? Thank you so much. And now, I eat. Slurp, slurp. That spicy flavor balanced by a strong note of un umami. It's just too delicious. Ah, so satisfying. At last, I can start thinking of ways of drawing villagers. Let's see. Wait. Oh, no. Hot. Hot! The Goron Spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. Gust of wind? Uh... Oh. Wait a minute. I have just the thing. Run over here real quick. Crab! Okay. Another palm fruit. Run, run! Wee hee! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, I need. Hold. Drop. I'm not going to need this when I'm done with it. Okay, run back over. Run. Ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I... I got an idea! A flag! We can make a flag as a symbol for the village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. Time to start working on the design. Okay, okay, this here, that there, piece of cake. Huh. Satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. Really, I couldn't have dreamed up such a great idea without your help. Now I think I'll go liven up Lurelin Village with a new flag. Here, it's the fabric I use for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. Lurlin Village fabric! Tough fabric bearing a Lurlin Village design. Paraglider fabric, okay. If you go to Hateno Village's dye shop, they can probably help with that. Cool. Can I blow out this campfire? No. Alright, and I know I saw another one right over here. Hey now, what's on, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your pal Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised. Our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I, ju I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Luralin. Hmm. Yes, I'd like to make some kind of entertainment. Something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. Hmm. You've traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous ideas you care to share? Um... Open a floating hotel? Oh, oh my, how romantic! But well, we already have an inn. We need to offer some kind of entertainment that doesn't already exist here in the village. Underwater tours? Mm -hmm. I like it! Sounds dreamy. Oh. Sounds nice, yes, but breathing would be a problem. Still, some kind of water-related entertainment would be nice. Host a water rally? Uh -huh. Host a rally race? On the water? 
clever, very clever, don't you think? Oh. Hmm. Well, it would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. <laughs> that could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. Ah. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inventing some hotshot professional racers to help develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them. Oh. Hudson? Do you mean the fellow from that Terrytown place in northeastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Though I do wonder if real professional racers would be willing to come to a place like this. Laurelin Resort, Resort Project. Hmm. Alright, so in order to do this, we're going to have to finish the work up in Terrytown. I can delete these now. And then we can head up to Terrytown. Wherever Terrytown is. Terrytown. And go work with the... Those two Gerudo and the Hylian who are working on that new vehicle. Monster tips like choo-choo. Hmm. Yes. You can also do the same thing if you hit a electric Lizalfos in the forehead. Alrighty. Oops, I ran out of my stamina. <laughs> Oops. We. So there's a whole new course over here. Holy crap. What is this about? What could be powering the Zonai devices? Could there really be a tiny spirit inside? No, that doesn't seem likely. Ah, apologies. I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I've surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Terrytown. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us, Zonai-obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Ah. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? What's above here? The Sakala Sky Archipelago. And I don't think I've beaten that thing there. There's a device dispenser up there, and I am missing something out of that device dispenser. All right, what's the story? What's the story here? Yeah. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. Yes, I see what you've done. <laughs> With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering six capabilities. So, welcome to the Terrytown race. I'm so grateful you found the steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about. The Terrytown Race. Thank you, really. <laughs> with Tally as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design. And we arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Sarkso. Mm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Ah. While you're at it, why not spice things up with a little competition? Say, you versus Tally? She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes, you know. If you can beat her best time, well, then you win. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tally's best time is two minutes exactly. So how about it? Want to see if you can beat Tally's record? Of course. Yeah. Woohoo! I apologize, I get excited. I can't help but woo and hoo when I get excited. <laughs> Once you've readied a vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we've prepared. Oh. As you'll be helping us collect data, any zone I device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. Okay, so... Hmm... We got some wood, we've got some stone here. Let's see. It's a shame I don't have the flat bits. Oh, 
Pardon me, I'm gonna steal. Wait a minute, we've got carts. That, that's not a cart, that's a sled. We've got a cart here. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Maybe something lightweight and small? Oh, calm yourself, will you? Skip this over like that. So, like that. It's a bit low. I wonder if I should just use the the wood. Boink. That's good. Fine, roll over. <laughs> what are you panicking about? Good grief. Let's see here. Like that. It's a little wonky. Test drive real quick. See how this runs. Well, it's not going to run very well if you put your steering column on sideways. Alright. Whee! That's pretty good. Steering's a bit knackered. Okay. Let's see how it does on a slope. Not bad. Not bad, not great. I don't know what the I don't know what the track's gonna look like, so. Not a bad little device. Hmm. Seems okay. It doesn't turn on a dime, but you know, I, don't, I don't think it needs to. Alright, let's see how this goes. Ah, yes, the vehicle looks good. Ready to begin? Of course. Steering stick is all set up, so we're good to begin. Let's see. First, I'll activate the switch for the course. Let me explain the rules again. Tally's record is two minutes exactly. You must touch all of the lights and return to the starting point in that time. Don't take your hands off the steering stick once you've grabbed it or go too far off course. Now, on your mark... Go. All right. Seems easy enough. Got to get squeezed through these boxes here. Go. Got that one. Pull hard right here. Do this region. Ding. And. 
Finished. Wow, that only took me almost like 40 seconds. What? I can't believe it. You actually broke Tally's record. Here, this is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. Three zone eye charges. Who would have thought a Vo could race like that? Alright, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. Your majest mastery of the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Well, 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 how about that? It's not often Tally has so much to say. Seems like her great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. Eh? After seeing how you optimized your racing line, I feel that like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see me later, will you? Hmm. Well, I finished the qu I finished the thing, so I think I'll just leave it like that. I don't think there's another quest attached to that. I think it's literally just... You, you know, PB stuff. Improve your car. That's up to standard. Good to know. Nothing else down here? There's a Goron over here digging up a wing. What do you know, bud? What I've been hearing, Goron City is back in business. Which means I'd better hurry up and finish out work out here so I can get back to Yenoboko HQ. You a traveler? Careful now, the ground is uneven. What with all the debris everywhere. I wouldn't wander around too much if I were you. I'm pretty good with uh, debris. Also, I need to get rid of this thing. Um. Get rid of that thing. Anyway, that's that taken care of. But... We need to talk to Tally and I don't know her name. And I ran out my stamina again. Where'd they go? Are they up here? Hello? They're gone. Oh, there they are. Zavak, are you itching to drive? It's not often Tally considers someone a worthy rival. You should feel honored. Time limit for the expert course is based on her fastest run, you know. But seeing how you're so worthy and all, I'm sure you'll have no trouble breaking her record, right? <laughs> if you want to plan out a fast run, you th should think about getting yourself a bird's eye view of the race course. Sure, you can run the course a bunch, but that that'll only get you so far. Use your eyes. Study the course. Plan your moves. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Something when you ask? What's this all about? This isn't the place to talk. Why don't we go somewhere more relaxing? I see, so it's a race that takes place on the water, right there off the Lurlin Village shore? But racing on the ocean? I don't know. Sounds difficult. Maybe even impossible. Mm -hmm. No. That is not true, Shabon. Racing in a place where there is no roads? Racing on the ocean? No, it is not impossible. Oh. The possibilities are endless. Uh -huh. Well, 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 Tally. You're all fired up. I don't know what to do here. If we just up and leave this construction site, we'll be leaving Furnison in the lurch. I'll be just fine. I was just I was able to get the data I needed thanks to the both of you. And this one here too. <laughs> Go help him out, and don't worry about me. Building a race course in the water sounds like fun. I wouldn't want you to miss out. Though, if you don't mind, could you gather some data from the water faring vehicles? Boy. That's a kind offer, Sarkso. I'm willing to bet you'll need lots of equipment to get the water rally up and running. So please take any Zono devices or building materials you'll you think you'll need from here. Sarkso, you know, when this project started, I was sure we'd gotten the bad end of the bargain. But nah, this was fun. Oh. It was a valuable experience indeed. I thank you. Ah. No, thank you. Haha, -ha, things are quieter around here now. I'm glad I sent them off with a smile, but the truth is, I'd still like to get more data. Well, we got those two off to Lurlin Village, so we'll be popping over there shortly to help uh, figure things out. But we're just about out of time. So I think I have just enough time to warp back to Lurlin. That is not what I wanted to do. Thank you.
Oh, what wonderful weather we're having. <sighs> well, next time on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we're going to get ready to start racing on the water and see how that goes. Till then, this is Anna520, signing out. <laughs>